all right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Reload Vapor. Oh, man. Reload Vapor. So re the Reload Vapor Reload RDA was one of my favorite RDAs, really, that I've ever used. I, I just love it. The Reload Vapor Reload RTA is one of my favorite RTAs that I've ever used. I just love it. So this Reload Vapor X, I feel like it's got a lot to live up to. Reload Vapor has set the bar very, very high. And I'm pretty happy to report that the Reload Vapor X kind of does live up to the expectation that I had for it. It's just an all around really durable feeling RDA and the vape quality, the vape experience that I get from it, it, it is, is just stellar. Wow, good. Wow, good. So this RDA has a pretty interesting and unique deck. So what I want to do is put a brand new build on it. So what we're going to do right now is uh, do a real quick uh, short. Why do I say real quick short? Doesn't matter. Up and closey time, go. All right, well, here we go. Reload Vapor X RDA. This is it broken down into all of its parts. It is a one piece, uh, you know, top cap combination, top cap and barrel here, 810 drip tip. And then you got this interesting reload vapor x rda i have to say the full name every single time for some reason <laughs> i have no idea why that is reload vapor x rda deck on there it's not exactly a postless deck design it kind of is a little drop ish it's kind of a little dead rabbit ish in that you drop your coils straight down into the holes. Let's take a better look at this deck. Yeah, you drop your coils down into those holes. Obviously, this is the negative side and this is the positive side. These are grub screws and it does come packed in with a very, very helpful tool. This is a little bit older of a build and it's really more of a mech build. I'm going to be using this on a regulated device. So we're going to pull this build out of here and put a new build in. Plus now we can take a little bit better look at this deck. Yeah, there you go. Crazy. It's kind of crazy looking, right? It does come with a squonk pin, but I don't have the squonk pin installed, but you can see kind of right there. That's where your juice is going to flow out of your squonk pin. What's great about this RDA is with the squonk pin and installed, you can still get your coils pretty wet. You can squonk this pretty hard and you can even get juice into these airflow holes because it's just going to lead out here and this goes up a tunnel to the top here. So it'll suck all the juice back out and even if it doesn't, you can vape through the rest of it. It might be a little bit of a slurpy mess for a few toots, but you can definitely do it. See, this is going to be the weird part to see. So you see this airflow, right? And this airflow goes in and down. It travels right down this little chamber right there. And there's only one way that this top cap can go on. And that little chamber right there is going to line up with this chamber right here. So the airflow is going to go in and down and then up at your coils. A little bit of a claustrophobic deck in there, but uh, we're going to do the best we can. I'm going to install some of these right here. Dirty Bird coils. These are aliens. They should come out to a 0.14. So we'll see how it goes.
So yeah, not super difficult to install. You just need to pre-clip your leads and set them down in there. It requires a little bit of, uh, you know, finagling. You have to put one in and kind of stretch it over to the other one, put one in, kind of stretch it over to the other one like I did, but I got these installed. They're sitting right in front of that airflow that came out to a 0.13. They're glowing very, very evenly. So now we just have to wick it. almost literally could not be easier to wick. This is also a really great RDA for blowing your juice. You just drop your juice right in through the middle, right through the drip tip. It's gonna hit both your coils before it hits the deck. This is where it kind of gets a little bit wonky. This top cap can really only go on one way. You have to line up this top airflow with that bottom airflow and it'll click down. And if it doesn't click down, you don't have these lined up properly. Let's see how we did. Oh, nope, not quite. Yeah, you can, sometimes it just takes a little bit of a twist, just a slight little adjustment and it'll click all the way down. But yeah, there it is. Reload Vapor X RDA, all built, all wicked. Let's get back out to normal view. Let us vape it. Yeah, so I got those 0.12 coils in here, 80 watts. It, it's a banging. It's a banging vape. What I like most about this RDA, if I could grab my juice, what I like most about this RDA is the ability to just blow your juice right through the center like a champion. And even if you over drip or over squonk and you get juice into those airflow holes, it's never going to leak out these top airflow holes. I mean, you could, you could go really crazy and just squonk it and like empty your bottle into this atomizer. But I feel like if you do that with any atomizer, it's gonna come leaking out of the airflow holes. And on occasion, I have completely over dripped. Let's try to do it right now. That was already very dripped and I just added a whole other dropper full of juice in there. Yeah, and it feels a little slurpy because that juice went into the airflow, but because of the way that the airflow works, how it goes kind of in and then up to the top here, all you have to do is vape through a little bit of that slurpiness. Gets a little spitty while it's going on, I'm not gonna lie. But I would rather have a little bit of slurpy spittiness that I have to vape through than to have juice coming out of my airflow holes. And thankfully, this Reload Vapor X, the damn thing just doesn't leak. I also really like the flavor on this XRDA. It is it is stellar. It is top-notch flavor. That airflow comes in from the top, Kennedy style, right at the bottom of your coils, and it just it just creates a, a great flavor experience. I have this loaded up with uh, Smacks Lick It. It's one of my favorite juices of all time, and it it tastes it tastes just as it should in this atomizer. I also really like that this atomizer just feels like a high quality atomizer. It's constructed fully out of 304 stainless steel, which just adds that extra like extra quality factor to it that I think is missing in a lot of RDAs. The airflow on it is not adjustable. It doesn't have any sort of AFC on there. So the airflow that you get is just the airflow that you get. Thankfully, the airflow that you get is an airflow that I really enjoy. It's not too wide open. It feels nice and lungy, but there's a little bit of restriction to it, which I really enjoy. It doesn't feel turbulent, it doesn't feel sharp, it doesn't feel spongy in any way. It just feels it just feels nice and smooth and a little bit restricted. So let's get down to brass tacks here. You're gonna need your vape budget hands if you're looking at the Reload Vapor X RDA. Uh, yeah, it's pretty firmly in vape budget hands territory. It's about $70. Now if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take 
everything I have. I have nothing left to vape. Is the Reload Vapor X RDA something I would seek out and buy? Now when Reload Vapor did the Reload RDA, I loved it. I still love it and I said it was absolutely something I would buy. I think I enjoy the Reload Vapor X RDA more than the original Reload RDA. This is definitely something that I would want in my arsenal. As a dripper, it's an amazing, I mean, it's an incredible dripper. Don't get me wrong, it also works great as a squonker, but it is, I mean, I'm a dripper and I love using this. I think it's a fantastic dripper, man. But it is also firmly in vape budget hands territory. So ultimately the decision is gonna be yours to make. But if you're looking for a real high quality, fully stainless steel, you know, a uh, constructed RDA, uh, the Reload Vapor X, could be what you're looking for. That's really all I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping.